just slurp it down. Got my energy. We ready to roll? All right, we're up. Mike is on. We're mic'd up. This is Steve says episode number thirty. Today we're going to talk about why did we choose the southern location as our next peak physique location, and. Today, all in one word, and the real reason why we choose suffering, which is going to be one word, and we're going to get to that later. There's a lot behind this story in suffering, and I'm going to reveal it all. As you can see, I still haven't even shaved yet. Just landed on the plane overnight to California, went straight to the office, getting some shit done, straight over to the, to the Nanuet gym, then over to the suffering location to check on the progress. So it's been nonstop, haven't showered, haven't shaved, but that's fine. We're going to get rolling, but we got to get going here with Steve Says, episode Number 30, which you know is all about self-development, personal development, peak freak style. Some people will hate, but most can, be re most can relate to the things that we go over. Life is a war. The invasion is coming, and will you be ready? And that's what we do every week on Steve Says, is get you ready for the invasion with your own personal development, making yourself a better version of yourself every day. It's a peak freak perspective on personal development, health, fitness, nutrition, and life. Each week, showing you how to adapt and overcome, become a better version of yourself every day, Get your shit together, stop being a little bitch, trusting the process, and of course, making no excuses. If any questions, you can always leave them in the comments. Make sure you're sharing the page, liking the page, all that good stuff. As we get started here, we're going to get rolling. So, again, why suffering? Why do we choose suffering for the new location for PPZ? Suffering has a lot of history, and I have a lot of history in suffering. I moved there when I was two years old, so that was like 20 years ago. Or actually, 37 years ago. I went to elementary school there at Cypress Road, which is now Connor School. I went to the junior high school there, which is now the middle school. I barely graduated fucking high school there. And then I eventually became a menace, a criminal causing havoc in the streets, where I also spent many nights in the jail and suffering. We have a little visitor. I had to come and tell you no excuses. Just in case you didn't know. You know they need to let you know about that all the time. So... Like I said, I spent a lot of time in the jail over there, in the police station there that's still there in Suffern. That place has been there for hundreds of years. So opening this new Peepsic location in Suffern is so much more than just another training center for me. This is a, a voluntary return home here to Suffern for me, and I'm going to be completely transparent about this and with full disclosure about a little bit about my history there. Basically, I was a huge fucking pain in the ass to a lot of people in this town, causing them a lot of pain and anger and probably a lot of fucking hate. So this is a homecoming for me to own up to all the bullshit and trouble that I caused and making right all the wrongs that I did here in Suffern. This, this is about coming back and doing the right thing. My quest to become a better version of myself every day and to change lives has brought me back to Suffern. That's what it's done. That's why we're going into Suffern. With, with a fucking relentless, obsessed feeling of the need to give back to this community. I'm, I'm not just bringing the number one weight loss training center to Suffern, but I'm also bringing the number one personal development, and self-improvement program in Rockland County, right here to Suffern. So Peak Physique is an exclusive fitness community for people who feel like they don't fit in anywhere else. A place for them to escape to where, where, where there's nowhere else for them to turn. A place for them to get real weight loss, mind, body, and lifestyle results in the real world where they, where they thought they couldn't get results anywhere else. Peak Physique is for people who feel they aren't capable of results. They don't know how to make it happen on their own. Or phone call in there, I cut us off for a second. So again, like I was saying, it's peak physique is for people who feel like they aren't capable of results, they don't know how to make it happen on their own, or they think they don't deserve results, or they feel they aren't worth it. So I'm here to tell you today, right here and now, that all those thoughts are pure bullshit. And with our peak free culture, once you experience it, you will, you'll learn and you'll believe that you are capable, that you do deserve it, and you are fucking worth it. I'll be starting a series of videos leading up to our grand opening at the Indian Rock location in Suffern. I'll be doing a, seri a, a series of videos that will take you through the journey from 37 years ago up until the present day. All the way from when I first moved in there, I'm going to be visiting all these locations in, in a little mini series of videos back to my parents' house, which they still live there now for 37 years. I spent a lot of time there alone, learning just to self-sustain and survive on my own. I set up a mattress on a, on a bed pole to use as a fucking punching bag. So I'm going to take you there. I'm going to take you to the playground right down the street from their house where I used to have to play by myself and, and work out and just create exercises on my own and play baseball and football against my fucking self. And I'm going to take you to the elementary school. 
that I went from kindergarten to the sixth grade in Suffern, where I had no friends and no cool toys. My mother didn't, didn't have a car and didn't have a license at the time, so she would walk to the school for like class events or whatever, and would have to walk right by the, um, the kindergarten class. And of course, the kids would all laugh because my mom had to sit there and walk up to the, up to the school while they, all their parents were driving in, but whatever. Or how I couldn't see the blackboard and I didn't want to wear glasses because I was afraid it was something else I was going to be made fun of about. So I'm going to take you there to the elementary school. I'm going to take you to the junior high school, which is now the middle school. I did 7th and 8th grade. The, the fucked up thing about the junior high school is I do not have one single memory of junior high school. I must have been that fucking miserable. Not one memory. I remember nothing about that school of two years, 7th and 8th grade. So I'm going to, re- I'm going to take you into that, to that school, visit it, and see if I can stir up some memories and see if I can remember anything about that. Then on to high school. Talk about four years of misery that I had. You know, there I do have a lot of memories. Unlike junior high school, where I had zero memories in the two years. In the four years of high school, I have a lot of memories. The thing is, I don't have one single good fucking memory from those years of high school. Walking the halls during lunch by myself, just killing time, acting like I had somewhere to go. But, you know, not too fast that I didn't have to double around, just back around the school and people just see me walking around. A place where I never went to one single football game or one school event. I certainly didn't go to any fucking prom or any of that dumb shit. So I'm going to take you there. I'm going to take you downtown where I used to just cause havoc on those businesses there. I would steal from them, start fights in their stores. Just 15, 16 years old, just taking liquor from the place and walking right out of the place. Caused a lot of headaches for the business owners there. From the beginning of town all the way through the end of town, all the way through Main Street. Of course, a police station. You know, I hung out there a lot. I I was a fucking menace. And, you know, they were just doing their jobs, keeping a freak like me off the streets who was just causing trouble. They actually almost caused me not to get accepted into the Marine Corps. And then they almost, or did probably help, in order to make me not get hired as a cop after. But luckily, for the police test, I failed the psychological exam for the police test. So I didn't get hired as the police. So... I could follow my true passion and follow my path and purpose, which is to lead and help you peak freaks out there. So we're going to go and revisit the police station there in Suffern. There's the church where I used to go every Sunday. My mother used to bring me every Sunday as a kid. Had all the communions and all the confirmations and all that stuff there. And then even crawled out of the cave to go have a, a wedding over there. Oh, there's the library. My mother still works a couple days a week. The movie theater. The Lafayette movie theater, which was one of my fucking escapes. Where in the, in the 80s, the early 80s, I would my sisters worked there. I would sneak in all the time and just watch movies and just sit there movie after movie watching the same fucking movie over and over again as just an escape. Just had nowhere else to go, nothing else to do. I would just sneak in the side door, the doors there and just watch the fucking movies. So that leads us to the one word of the what is the real reason for our return into Suffern, what it's all about, and the real reason why we chose Suffern as our next Cape Physique location. Maureen told me she knew what the word was earlier, so let's see if she knows what that word is that we're talking about. The real reason why we chose Suffern as, as, our, as our second location, our second people Zeke location, second of many to come. And look at that, right on cue, there's Maureen with redemption. You're damn right, that is the word. This is all about redemption. Redemption is the action of saving or being saved from sin, error, or evil. And there was a lot of fucking sin and fucking error and fucking evil going on in suffering over 20 years ago. Redemption is the action of, of regaining or gaining possession of something in exchange for payment or clearing a debt. And that's what I feel like I have to do. I have to go pay back to suffering, to the community of suffering, to the people of suffering. I have to go clear a debt. I have an unpaid debt to that community over there and to make an atonement, a restitution, a reparation, however you want to call it, reclamation to reclaim myself. Which is all redemption. All falls under redemption. So basically, this is a story of fucking redemption. On on a homecoming to make things right after all the fucking trouble I caused here. My plan is to constantly give back to the community of suffering and the surrounding areas. And bring something positive and fun and life changing to this sector. Peak Physique will be the solution to many. Instead of the problem, we're going to be the solution to many of the local residents' problems. As opposed to what I was like 20 years ago. Obviously now I'm a new man from from the wild ass kid that was running reckless in the streets over 20 years ago. I'm now coming back to suffer with the Russian and these two crazy ass kids, Tyson and the girl. And, And I'm coming back with a fucking vengeance. With a new mission to bring passion and purpose 
back to the community of suffering. By, by me and PPZ coming to suffer, it's a valuable lesson to anyone out there that you can always turn things around in your freaking life. You can always make shit happen. You can always make things better. You can always turn a fucking negative into a positive and make things right. That's what this is all about. It's about redemption and this valuable lesson that I'm trying to bring out there. Peak physique in suffering is a sign of fucking redemption and a sign of hope for anyone out there who might have had a rough patch or a rough past or made some mistakes in their life. That's what this is all about. Coming back, making a difference, fucking redeeming myself. Like I said, peak physique in suffering is a sign of redemption and a sign of hope. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to start this mini-series coming up in the next few days where we're going to be going all around the town of Suffern, visiting all these places from the last 37 years of my long past in Suffern. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down there in the bottom, and I'll get back to you, and I'll see you guys soon over at the new location.